Welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Welcome back and a very special welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jen and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget and that includes new makeup releases. Every Saturday I put out a video talking with you all about the new makeup releases. Do I want them? Am I purchasing? Am I passing? Are they cute? Are they ugly? We're going to talk all about this week's new makeup releases. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload lots and lots of new videos every week. And we did this new makeup releases video every single Saturday. Everything I share with you is linked down below, release dates, discount codes, links to the products, Everything you need to know will be down in the description box, along with all of my favorite beauty subscriptions, the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you'd like to recreate this look, and lastly, come on over, follow me on TikTok for more beauty on a budget. So let me scoot over so I can share with you my opinion on all the new makeup releases. I pull all of my information off of Instagram from the Trend Mood One page, as well as Indie Makeup Hotspot. I'll make sure I list those down in the description box if you'd like to follow them over on Instagram. So it looks like we have a couple of new products. One of them is from Milk Makeup. This is the Pore Eclipse Mattifying and Blurring Makeup Primer for $18. It says a lightweight water cream makeup primer with skincare benefits that blurs the look of pores and fights shine for a long lasting soft matte finish. So if you have oily skin, this is probably a perfect primer for you. I'm going to pass because I like a more glowy, dewy primer because I have a little bit more normal to dry skin. Also, Ilia has released the C Beyond Triple Serum SPF 40 Mineral Sunscreen with Vitamin C, 10% and Niacinamide for $64. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. It says three in one serum sunscreen with encapsulated vitamin C, mineral SPF 40 and niacinamide in a waterless base for visibly brighter skin rapidly and over time. There's three different tones, one for light, extra light to light medium, medium to medium deep and deep to extra deep skin tones. I will say that I like that there is a different product for different skin tones. I like that this is tinted but it's $64. That just kind of seems like a lot to me, so I'm going to pass. Ooh, this is exciting. She Glam, which is Shein's makeup line. By the way, I'm wearing She Glam foundation on my face today, and it was like $6, and it's incredible. I love She Glam. They have their new Skinfluencer Foundation Balm. I am really excited about this. It says a foundation with a silky texture that feels like second skin in velvet-like cream formula. It comes in 30 shades. Way to go, She Glam. Full coverage, lightweight, buildable, long wear, active ingredients to moisturize, safe for sensitive skin, talc-free, alcohol-free, hypoallergenic ingredients. The compact is recyclable, and it's $8.50. Wow. Wow, this is absolutely super exciting. I love the shade range. I mean, they really got a great shade range and $8 and 50 cents. I'm 100% picking this up. I actually have a video here on my channel where I did a full face of She Glam, but it's been a while. So if you want another full face of She Glam with some of their newer products, super affordable, super high quality. Again, my foundation is She Glam and it is one of my favorites. Let me know down in the comments. Huda Beauty skincare line called Wishful, which, which I've used a few of their products and have really actually enjoyed them. They released the Eye Lifting Contour 1% Bachuchiol and Peptide Serum. It says a lightweight yet supercharged refillable eye serum that instantly and over time lifts, firms, and depuffs under and around the eye for brighter, fresher, youthful looking eyes. $45, it's available now on their website. I'm definitely interested. I'm in my mid to late 40s, so I really enjoy eye products. I have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles. If this is gonna lift and contour without any cosmetic procedure, 
it's definitely something I want to try. So Nabla has a new product. This is their Angel Aura Radiant Plumping Serum Primer. Now this primer is a little more up my alley because it's radiant and glowy. It says gives a radiant finish and creates a plumped and lifted result. Designed to prepare the skin before applying makeup and to help the base last longer. Makes the face a compact, smooth canvas. It acts both on skin firmness and texture, providing an immediate effect which also lasts over. Over time. Light infused with a hint of peachy undertone without leaving actual color. I really like that. So it's not going to leave any color, but it's going to smooth out the skin and make your skin one even base for your makeup. It blends and adapts to all skin tones in a luminous transparency, making skin look more healthy and radiant. And it's $30. I want this. I want it. I think the packaging is absolutely beautiful. If, if it says radiant and glowy, then I'm 100% picking this up. Maybelline has some new products. These are really cute. They kind of remind me of the little Kaja bento boxes. They're circles though, and this is a square. This is the new Shadow Block Eyeshadow Palette Stacked Eyeshadow Trio. That's a long name. It says Eyeshadow Trio Stacks High Pigment and Pocket Size. Inspired by the city streets of some of New York City's most vibrant neighborhoods, each palette includes two matte shades, one shimmer shade with purple shades inspired by the streets of Soho or taking the blocks of Brooklyn with a neutral look. They're only $10 a piece. This is cute. This is small, compact, great for travel, everything you need to create an eye look. It comes in five different shade combos. We have West 4th and Perry Street, which is that pretty pinky purple, 26th and Madison, which has the green, 82nd and Park, which is the more neutral palette, Broadway and Prince Street, which is the purple one, beautiful, and North 3rd and Bedford Avenue, which is, again, a more neutral, mauve pinky palette. These are adorable. These are super cute. I'm interested. I'm interested in testing them out. It's been a long time since I've done a full face of drugstore makeup. If you wanna see that, let me know because this may be the drugstore eyeshadow that we try in that video. This is the week of primer releases. We have another primer. This is the High Gen Skin Glass Energizing and Hydrating Primer Serum from Natasha Denona. This is a lightweight primer serum with a silky consistency and a dewy, plumpy, plumping finish. Infuses skin with moisture while balancing oil in the T-zone for instant glow. I love the word glow. Made with crystal-like, ultra-fine reflecting pigments, this ingenuous formula awakens skin and delivers a translucent luminosity. It is $48 and it's available now for pre-order. It looks really pretty. You can see as she's kind of rubbing it into her skin, you can see that glow. And then look how pretty and glowy her skin looks. This, although this is a primer, it is also a serum. So this would be really good for no makeup days. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I've been doing a lot of no makeup days just to give my skin a break. If I want to go sit by the pool, this would be a great product to just add some luminosity and glow. It would also be really nice under makeup. I may have to get this. New brand alert. This is a new product, new skincare from Sereni. Sereni Beauty by Chloe Morello. I don't know who Chloe Morello is, but her first launch includes the Overnight Overhaul Rejuvenating Beauty Mask for $60. This is a sleeping mask with Pachuchiol and DHA to help wake help your skin wake up to a dewy morning skin with a radiant glow and a soft focus finish. It looks like that's the only product that's released with the first launch. And it again, it's $60. Congrats to Chloe Morello for her new skincare line. But this isn't something that at this point I'm interested in. However, I will be watching any reviews. Maybe this is a product line that I want to try eventually. We have a new release from Pat McGrath. As you guys know, I don't really buy Pat McGrath, but if you love her line, this is her fetish highlighter in balm duo color in extreme cyber orchid. I will give props to her for coming out with a purple highlighter and it actually looks really, really pretty. It says a limited edition radiant remix of the iconic duo for the ultimate opalescent illumination. One side features a prismatic highlighter that glides, glides on effortlessly to impart a sheer buildable hint of luminosity. And then the opposite side features a transparent gel based balm 
with a moisturizing argan oil and hyaluronic acid. It is $58 a piece. That cyber orchid is beautiful, is absolutely beautiful. I love the purple in there. Actually, today I'm wearing the Unearthly Cosmetics Blue Highlighter from the In the Dark collection, and I love it. I love purple, blue, pink tinted highlighters. I'm going to pass on this, but if you like that really pretty colored highlighter, this would be a good deal because this is a pretty good option for $58 because you actually get two products in one. Makeup Revolution is back with another collection. This is the Love Island collection from the Love Island show. Now I've heard of that show. I've never seen it. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of Makeup Revolution and this is a huge collection. I am, I mean, so many things. There's palettes a water bottle, lip kits, bronzers, highlighters, SPF, lip products, a tanning mousse, and a tanning mitt, a cosmetic bag, there's false nails, hair scrunchies, hair clips, face and body brushes, a kabuki brush. There's a lot in this collection. It looks like the highest price thing is about $20, and that's going to be maybe a skincare product. I'm going to pass, but if you like Makeup Revolution, you can actually use the code TRENDMOOD for 20% off on their website, and this is available as of Friday, May 27. Forever 21 has collabed with Sugar Peel for this Barbie collection. The packaging on this is super cute. It totally brings me back to my childhood. I loved Barbies. This includes some lip glosses. They are $18 a piece, and there are four of them. Dream House, which is a sheer pink gloss with an iridescent fuchsia, blue shifting sparkles. Ooh, that sounds really pretty. Malibu Sunrise, which is peach. Sun Kiss, which is semi-sheer apricot gloss with gold sparkles. And then Barbie, which is clear with iridescent pink sparkles. These look really nice. Again, I love the packaging. And they came out with three sets of different lashes. They're only $9 a piece. There's Iconic, that's a clustered wispy lash. Malibu, a dense and fluffy lash. And Dress Up, which is a more natural, delicate, wispy lash with multicolored crystals. How fun is that? This is all available now. I'm going to pass. I do think the packaging is really, really cute, but I'm just not in the market for any more lip products or lashes. So The Ordinary has released their multi-peptide lash and brow serum. We know that The Ordinary is really affordable. This says a concentrated lightweight serum that is designed to promote the look of thicker, fuller, and healthier lashes and brows. The multi-technology serum targets multiple pathways to support increased eyelash and brow hair density and thickness while nourishing and protecting. It's available as of May 24th for pre-order and it launches June 9th on the Ordinary website. I'm assuming it's going to come to Ulta as well and it's only $14.50. So if it actually works as an eyelash and brow serum, that's an incredible deal. I use a lash serum and mine's between $60 and $70. So I'm definitely going to pick this up and try it out. Let me know if this is a product you're interested in. We have a new release from MAC Cosmetics. This is the Blooming Lip Wardrobe. The entire set is $49.98. There's a prep and prime lip, a lip liner in Whirl, which is a dirty rose shade, and the lip liner in Cork, which is a muted golden brown shade. There is a lipstick in Cream Cup, which is a light blue pink shade. Oh, how fun is that? And in Modesty, which is a muted neutral pink, and Coffee, which is a creamy mid-toned pink brown. This is available now from MAC. These are really pretty. The packaging is absolutely stunning. I love Max Bullet Lips and their lip liners. This is really pretty. I mean, really a nice collection from Max. Another ColourPop collection. ColourPop, 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 and this one actually caught my attention. This is the Resting Beach Face Collection. It includes the Getting Fresh Eyeshadow Palette. Now let me say, this is a huge palette but it is neutral. Yes, it's very neutral. And then they've thrown in like nine shades of green. I'll tell you if this was a neutral palette, I would absolutely not be interested, but the green and that pretty blue shimmer is getting me. I mean, those are beautiful. You can do a neutral eye look with a pop of green or blue. It's really pretty. They have six new matte bronzers. ColourPop makes fantastic bronzers. I'm definitely getting one of them. And they have so glossy lip glosses and it looks like six different neutral shades as well. I don't need any more lip products, but I'm buying the bronzer 
and I actually think I'm gonna get the palette. Listen, if you guys want a tutorial using this collection, I will grab the palette, a bronzer, and a lippy. So let me know if you guys wanna see a first impression, review, and tutorial. You can use the code TREMOOD for 10% off. It's available now on the ColourPop website. Let me know if you wanna see my opinion on this palette. Hip Dot is back with another collab. To no surprise to anyone, Hip Dot and their collabs, this is their collaboration with Girl Scouts. It's $84 for the entire collection and it includes the Thin Mints Pigmented Eyeshadow Palette, the Coconut Caramel Palette, lipstick set that has Lemon Lipstick, Coconut Caramel Lipstick, and Thin Mints Lipstick, and it says that they're all lightly scented, and two eyeshadow brushes. This is available now on the Hip Dot website. Meh. I mean, the packaging is cute. It definitely screams Girl Scouts. It's just not something I'm interested in. I would like to smell the lippies though if they have some different scents, but I'm going to pass. We have a new drugstore release from e.l.f. This is the Sea Bright Putty Primer with 2% vitamin C. So it's another addition to their putty primer line. It is coming soon online and in stores. Now, I like that this has vitamin C and it's an aluminizing primer, but I don't love their putty primer. I have tried so many of them and have never really loved any of them. So I'm going to pass. But if you love e.l.f. and you love their putty primer, I'm betting this is like six or eight dollars. So keep your eye out for it because it's coming soon. Fenty Beauty is releasing the Pout Sickle Hydrating Lip Stain Collection. It says instantly moisturizes the lips with bright, vivid shades, satin finish in Berry Banger, Strawberry Sangria, Zesty Bestie, and My Type. These are available soon on their website and Sephora. They are available now in Europe. I'm passing. I like Fenty Beauty. I actually like a lot of Fenty Beauty, but I do not need any more lip products. I literally, you guys have hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and we know that they don't last more than like six to nine months so I'm going to pass but if you're in the market for a new lip stain these sound really good now let's jump into some indie makeup releases starting with something I about lost my mind over when I saw that this was being released and I am 1 million percent buying this this is the brand new all I ever wanted volume 2 palette from unearthly cosmetics now I have the volume 1 palette I use it all the time I am so excited about this it is 20 special shades duochromes multi chromes sparkly topper shades they unearthly cosmetics is my favorite indie brand as you guys know and this palette is stunning. I love all the greens, yellows, blues, purples. There is a special shade for everybody in here. It is $86. It launched on Friday, May 27th at 12 p.m. Eastern time. When you see this video, I would have already bought this. This is something that I was so incredibly excited about. And I know that $86 sounds like a lot, but it is 20 special shades. There's no mattes in here. You pair this with another matte palette, like the Blend Bunny Blends palette or your favorite mattes. This is all special shades and they are all absolutely beautiful and stunning. I'm so excited. Here's a really pretty palette. This is from Slay Ready Cosmetics. This is the Sunset Evolution palette. There's 30 shades with mattes, shimmers, and pressed glitters. It's available now on their website. Now, I don't love pressed glitter, so that doesn't really draw me to the palette. I'm gonna pass on this, but if you want a palette that gives you neutral and colorful shadows, this would be great. And it, I don't know the price of this, but it is available now on their website, and it looks really pretty. There's quite a wide variety of colors. So if you're new into makeup or you want one palette that gives you neutral in color, this would be a great option. This is really pretty. Oh my gosh, this is a new makeup collaboration between K Ting's Beauty and Para House Cosmetics. Now, I've never heard of either of these brands, but this is the Gone Grunge Custom Palette created by K Ting's Beauty. It features nine pans of all shimmer and duochrome finishes. It does retail for $60. It's available now for pre-order on the Farrah House Cosmetics website. It is cruelty-free, vegan, and handmade. Now, this is really pretty. I mean, those shades are beautiful. You can see all the shifts in the duochromes. I will say, though, I'd rather have the All I Ever Wanted palette for special shades because you get 20 for $86. This is only nine shades for $60, which is still a really good deal for special shades. And this is a little bit more grungy than the All I Ever Wanted. I think it's 
really, really beautiful. We have a brand new indie makeup brand. I love talking about new brands. This is the new makeup brand called The Culture Cosmetics. It is a new beauty band brand based in the USA, black family owned. It's cruelty, vegan, vegan and paraben free. Their first product is going to be the 400 years eyeshadow palette that represents the history, beauty and resilience of subcultures created from the African Disparia. The palette contains 12 beautifully custom formulated eyeshadow pigments. It is coming soon to their website. You can actually sign up for notification and wait list on their website. It's really pretty. I think the packaging is beautiful and I'm always excited when new indie makeup brands are released. Lastly, we're going to talk about another new brand to me. This is a makeup collaboration between Electrum Cosmetics and Wit Charé. This collection includes the Ascendant Palette which has 11 pans, shades including three multi-chrome highlighters. Those are beautiful on that bottom row. Those are all highlighters, multi-chrome, beautiful. There is four mattes, one metallic, two multi-chromes, and one multi-chrome topper. The palette is $55, which is not bad at all. You have shadows with special shades, mattes, duochromes, multi-chromes, and three multi-chrome highlighters for $55. They're also releasing the Conjure Lip Gloss and the Moonstone Loose Pigments. These are available as of yesterday on their website. So you can order this now. This is really pretty. I mean, really, really pretty. I've never heard of this brand, but I am intrigued. I'm definitely going to go check this out. So those are all of this week's new makeup releases. There are some really good things coming out. I am so excited about a lot of these products. Let me know down in the comments what you're picking up. Let me know, do you wanna see a review tutorial with the ColourPop collection? Because if you do, I will make sure that I pick it up. So definitely let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to check out the description box where I will link everything I talked about today, discounts, release dates, all of the information as well as all of my favorite beauty subscription boxes, the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you'd like to recreate this look. And don't forget, come on over, follow me on TikTok for more Beauty on a Budget. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!